Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler DeCantis, and this is your reading for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising for the end of December. Um, so we're just gonna kind of close out the year with. Oh, whoa, that popped fast. <laughs> um, okay, so first, the first card that's like over here, victory. So the, you're finishing something up. It's been a long motherfucking battle, but love is in the motherfucking air for you. Okay, this might be a lover, but it also might be um, you finding yourself, you finding your spiritual self. I like to try to do it more spiritual, more your own personal journey. It's cool. People are there. You have these fucked up relationships that mess your fucking head up. I'm going through it. But <laughs> just know this is a fucking celebration for you. You've been through the rough patch, but victory is motherfucking yours. You got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? And she, um, she's like creature comforts, enjoying her um, fruits of her labor. She's sitting in her uh, garden, chilling. Like, she's good. You have a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, but it was upside down when, I, when it was over here. So maybe um, you've already been presented with this idea or maybe you've been presented with um something on the material plane it might be like a new a new job a new house a new um opportunity to make some money a new opportunity to do something um just moving forward with something new i don't know what's going on in your life but something something's gonna happen you got this little a doorway is open but don't fuck yourself up because you have the fucking um, three of swords. Now, swords are about your mind, your mind, um, and not your heart. So these are not about emotions. So with three of hearts, it's kind of like um, you thought something was going to happen and it didn't happen. So you're upset about it, but it never happened. So it's like you're breaking your own heart with your mind. So it's like, stop overanalyzing shit, stop thinking about it, stop being upset over some heartbreak, this opportunity that never happened or never manifested, and stop staying in that vibration, move on from that, and come into your power and and live in love and get in more emotional love so that it way with yourself and whatever you're doing, stop thinking about it so much, feel more. Um, ooh. So definitely you have um, the High Priestess. So something in the shadows that you probably need to bring to the light right now. And, um, okay, so it's like a conflict of interest with something. It's like you have to battle for it. It's not yours yet. Maybe that's why your heart is breaking from these ideas. Maybe you don't think you're strong enough for the battle. But... The Queen of Cups comes back to tell you you absolutely are. And this Queen of Cups, you might be dealing with um, a water sign, Pisces, um, Pisces, Cancer, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you might be dealing with an Earth sign, so like yourself. Or this Earth sign here, this might be you. This could be you or um, another Earth sign, Earth sign Capricorn, um, obviously. Virgo and Taurus. So you might be dealing with a Virgo Taurus, another Capricorn. This might be yourself. You dealing with some sort of issue with there. I don't know if it's necessarily an issue, but it kind of, to me, it looks like, so both these bitches have some shit in their hand. One has like this little, I think it's like, I don't even know what it is. It's like two little archangels on this weird thingy. I think it's called the Ark of the Covenant. But she's staring at that, and then the other one is staring at just this one little circle um, and this pentacle. But she, over here, this queen of pentacles, has the ace of pentacles beside her. So it looks like she has this idea around her. So this might be a beginning of a start of something that you had, an idea that you had. And maybe you're battling with this deeper shadow or this idea of something with this... Um, with this water sign or this woman in your life. Um, it could be a male too. Um, it's just Scorpio, Cancer, um, Scorpio, Cancer, and what, whatever. 
Anyways, but it looks she's staring into a battle is basically what it was. She's looking at her little thing and it's like she's staring at the battle. So maybe she's deciding, um, whereas the Queen of Pentacles is just worried about her one pentacle and she's not even looking at this opportunity behind her. She's not looking at the heartbreak behind her and the high priestess is under her and victory's on her head. So it's like I have these all kind of laid out like little. But, oh, and two, I just noticed like, we still have these two too. So I definitely think it's something to do um, with the relationship that you have with somebody. Um, it might be your mother, it might be your girlfriend, um, it might be yourself, it might be your best friend, but there's going to be a battle, but let's, let's get some more clarity on it. And it might be just be fighting for what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. 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 So the fool. So you have an opportunity. Um, the fool spirit is with you. She's supporting you. Jump off the ledge. Um, this is a new beginning. This is a new start. Maybe it's going away from this battling. You don't need a battle. Maybe um, it's just going forward from here. Because you do have the Ace of Swords that fell with this, which is a new idea a new way of life is definitely a new path and but it's going to be happy it's going to be really happy you're going to be really fulfilled so this whole you have so much love in this reading but don't um don't break your own heart don't let your emotions get the best of you, or your mind get the best of you be in your heart chakra be in your love be in your light leave the battling behind but fight for what you believe in um i'm gonna pull one more card um, the Abraham Hicks deck, just because I love this deck, I love her. Okay, it says, I, I learned to pay attention to my feelings. Your emotions are absolute indicators of your current point of attraction. They help you to know in any moment whether or not you're currently allowing the fulfillment of your desire. It is our encouragement that you pay attention to how you feel and allow your emotions to be the value indicators they are. So, feel your way with your heart. Feel it. Don't think, because you're going to fuck it up. Feel your way through this. And it says, it is natural for my body to be well. You do not have to think specific positive thoughts about your body, but you do have to not think specific negative thoughts. If you can never again think about your body and instead think about your pleasant thoughts, your body would reclaim its natural place of wellness. So, maybe we've been in our lower chakras and we need to just focus on being on our higher chakras and in our heart more maybe it's that middle ground right now but um yeah and i'll pull one more from the rebel deck just oh you need a good fucking cry get the ugly cry on let that shit go your soul will thank you let that let the past go maybe maybe this was a, a heartbreak um maybe this was a heartbreak you know what i'm saying maybe you had your heart broken but you're going to charge on in victory because that's what Capricorns do. Y'all is the goat. Y'all see shit through. So, um, But let the battle go because this is a new opportunity. It's a new beginning. Cry that shit out. Let that shit go. And move on from there. Pay attention to your feelings. If it feels like shit, don't do it. If it feels good, do it. <laughs> do whatever you feel is doing. Just follow your heart. That's all I can really tell you. And... Um, have a beautiful rest of your 2018. I'll see you guys in 2019. Um, check out the extended readings. Um, I'm going to be posting them in 2019. Um, also, too, I have personal readings that will be available tonight um, to purchase. So, thank you guys for watching. Love you, as always. Bye.